Well, probably about time I should let you in about a secret about TV, about what I do. You rarely, rarely have ever asked a question you don't know the answer to, especially when you're interviewing somebody you don't really know that well. You don't ask a question without knowing how your guest is going to answer the question. Every time you break that rule, bad things can happen. Don Lemon over at CNN learned that the hard way last night when he asked a royal expert about using some of the queen's fortune to pay slavery reparations. Those who are asking uh, for reparations for colonialism, and they're wondering, you know, $100 billion, $24 billion here and there, $500 million there, some people want to be paid back, and, uh, and members of the public are wondering, why are we suffering when you are... You know, you have all of this vast wealth. Those are legitimate concerns. If reparations need to be paid, we need to go right back to the beginning of that supply chain and say, who was rounding up their own people and having them handcuffed in cages? Absolutely, that's where they should start. And maybe, I don't know, the descendants of those families where they died at the, in the high seas trying to stop the slavery, that those families should receive something too, I think, at the same time. Hmm. It is awfully hard to leave Don Lemon at a loss for words, but Hillary Fordwich did it. Not because she got angry or emotional, but because she simply answered the question. Don Lemon wasn't expecting it. Maybe Lemon ended the interview and didn't argue because of his new boss, Chris Licht. Licht shaking up CNN, including sending Lemon to the morning show. That's not okay with people who love cable news where nobody questions their prized but relatively fragile positions from Keith Oberman. Chris Licht, who, when we worked together at MSNBC, I believed used to eat paste, has now surrounded Don Lemon with an ex-Daily Caller journalist and somebody who last month demanded an apology from Biden to Republicans. The CNN bleep storm, according to Mr. Oberman, is here. I'm old enough to remember when having people of opposing and differing views was a good thing. It wasn't a bleep storm. And evidently you, because you are watching us Remember those times as well. We're grateful for your loyalty. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.